Let's see. I have been playing everyone's favorite, newest, most recent video game, Stubbs the Zombie. <laughs> oh, this, this they, is new, we, though. They yes, the, t today I believe they are re-releasing Stubbs the Zombie for PS4, Xbox, this Switch, and PC. Uh, that game originally came out in 05 just for the Xbox. And yeah. it, it runs like on the Halo engine. Halo engine right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is also crazy. So, I, you know, like some of the lineage of the original devs, I guess, is they, they had time on Halo uh, in the early days um, and left Bungie and started something else. And so they were able to borrow slash license the engine. Uh, so one of the marketing points back then was like, this is this runs on the Halo engine. And it was just like, that's ridiculous. What does that even mean in 2005? And so now, technically, I guess the Halo engine is on the PlayStation 5. Whoa. And, that's nuts. you know, it, it, in this end of the Switch. Uh, oh, right. And, yeah. So it's it's weird. Um, I'm it's sorry, fun to go back on? to it. I played it on PS5, but it is a PS4 not, game. Okay. It, is, it, is not the, it is not running natively on the new consoles. Um, but right. it's a full, like, medieval sort of style remake, like new graphics, new everything? No, or... no, no, <laughs> no. It is exactly the game oh. from 2005 with, oh. like, higher resolution. And um i want to say so i mean some xbox games were widescreen some were not and this one is widescreen on in, in in this release but i don't know necessarily if that was the case back then or if it was technically a four by three game because there are parts of this game where um like when you get into boss fights where it actually just goes to four by three for a sec to show you like a cut scene or whatever, and then pop back out. And I thought that was really weird. Um, so, which makes me wonder like, and I didn't go look it up, but this thing's 20 bucks, but also they're going to sell it's, it's, uh, they're taking pre-orders for a collector's edition that will be out in the fall, 150 bucks. <laughs> wow. Well, you kind of, it. And it, it comes with a stubs head and like his yeah. spleen, which you use as grenades. Um, and it's just a really, bizarre thing to put back out but at the same time Stubbs was okay in its day and it's sure. interesting to go back and look at it now it is a very old type of game it, like just design wise it's just like there's really not that much going on in here but it is still kind of charming um but like the audio, like the, the the audio was recorded at whatever bit rate they used back then. <laughs> and so all the speech has that like tinny high end to it Whoa. that games used to have, but you never noticed. Love it. But now it sticks out like a sore thumb because of how good <laughs> games can sound. And you're like, oh, God, this is terrible. Um, And it's just fascinating that, that all of that. I think that was the um, Destroy All Monsters when that came out. Or Destroy, yeah. Destroy All Humans, Destroy sorry. Humans. Um. When that came out, I think the audio was a big a big problem there. They redid more of the graphics than this did, this did, but similar type situation, um, if I remember right. Like, okay, so Stubbs, if you haven't played it, it is it is a level based. It is a large open levels because they had the Halo engine to work with, so they just went like, I don't know, let's just make a big empty area and silent cartographer, but a city. Yeah, right. Uh, and you are a zombie, so you shamble, and so you don't move especially quickly, and you'll be like, oh, off in the distance, there are two cops that are just shooting at me, and I need to shamble over towards them, and if I get close enough, I can throw a spleen grenade or roll my head at them like a bowling ball or just run up to them, get behind them, and then a prompt appears that says, press triangle to eat cop brains, and then <laughs> you can eat, eat the cop brains. Most 2021 um, game, yes. Yeah, pretty much. And and basically anyone you kill rises and they become part of your zombie horde and there's like light squad tactics where you can Yeah. Basically you shove a zombie. Like you get behind a zombie and push a button to push it. And so you can push zombies at human enemies and then kind of draft behind them to sneak up and 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 fight them or just like like basically call, make the horde go off in that direction and, and they will kill some guys for you as well. And so it's this like and the boss fights are rhythm games. The the other memorable thing about this game is that it had like a pretty crazy licensed soundtrack where it yeah, had all these. What? That's all there. Um, 
It's so indie bands. Uh, it's, it's indie bands covering like 50 songs. So it's like Death Cab for Cutie doing Earth Angel or something like that. Yeah. Like Lollipop oh, and stuff like that. And Cake is on the soundtrack. But oh, um, was and... he like a salesman or something? Like a like what was his or a detective? What was his deal? Stubbs. It's like I, I thought think he was just a normal guy. He's, he's just a zombie. But I, I think you eventually do get. Something? Or, yes, uh, you get yes, yeah. you get some origin story maybe later on, but I don't remember. I, I've I've played about half the game, which is the, not a long game. Uh, but like the opening of the game is just like here's this city of the future that we've built, and this industrialist is like, I built the city of the future with Nazi scientist help and all this other stuff. And <laughs> yeah, there's like a there's like a like swastika in the first two minutes of this game, and you're like, they don't put those in games that much anymore. I guess this isn't coming out wow. in Germany, huh? Um, and, uh, and, and, and so like they, it's, it's that city of the future. And then Stubbs just pops up out of the ground and starts eating people. And that's it. There's no ramp up to it other than that. But I do, if, if I remember right, they do get into like, by the end of that game, they are kind of getting into a bit of the, the Stubbs origin, but I, they, maybe they don't. Like a it's, it's been a long time. Yes. A so he, he falls for. It's like a King Kong thing almost where he is the monster oh, right. and then he sees a pretty lady who is the mother or wife, some, some kind of like mom wife situation of the, mm. the man who built the city. And so he sees her and goes, uh, uh, and then is like chasing after her for the rest of the game. Um, <laughs> cool. That's not creepy at all. No, no, not creepy at all. I mean, it was 2005, right? It's, uh, it's just fucking weird. It, it was so. It's it, it, like in its day, it was maybe like I, I I remember enjoying it and playing it now. Like I'm still I'm not having a terrible time with it, but you do definitely play it and go, shit. This is like so empty. This game has such little going on. <laughs> it's just like even there's like a vehicle level where yeah. you know a vehicle controls a lot like the wraith or the ghost in in Halo. <laughs> It's like a hover warthog, basically, uh, and it's just weird. It's just weird, and it's out now, and it's twenty bucks. And uh, we recorded a quick look for it, and then I went to watch it back, and all the video is stuttery and completely jacked. So I'm gonna have to re-record oh, no. at a at a later date here. Um, but we will mark my words. We will record some footage of Stubbs the zombie. Um, and How weird. What? Yes. Between destroy all humans and this, it's all these. Like, how is Blink's the Time Sweeper not happen now? Surely that's think, next. Yeah, right. Well, it's like Blink's, I mean, Microsoft published it, and I feel like Microsoft has not always been super willing to revisit its, like, mid to low tier games. Um, I don't know if that's out of shame or something, no, but also... No cameo. Give me a Dr. Yeah, Muto. Like, Damn it. Yeah, well, Warner Brothers probably owns Dr. Muto now because it was a Midway game. Uh... Yeah, Artoon, I don't, Artoon who developed Blinks, I don't, like, does not exist on its own, uh, and, okay, so if I just follow all these wiki pages, uh, uh, Artoon uh, was absorbed into AQ Interactive in 2010, AQ Interactive merged with Marvelous to form Marvelous AQL. Did it get embraced? And no, no, uh, but this, <laughs> uh, but Stubbs is, uh. Aspire put out stubs, which is uh, which Aspire has been embraced. <laughs> so uh, has destroy all humans. I think is I think that maybe is also. I believe it probably is. Um, like Voodoo Vince came out. Um, like there there was a re like Microsoft didn't publish it, but like they gave their blessing to like somehow enabled a re release of Voodoo Vince on uh, 2017, which oh. was weird to see. Yeah. Um, and Voodoo Vince was another game I remember being like a pretty decent platformer in its day. Like the remaster, I don't think, like did not did not hold up super well. Oh shit. Um. Okay. So apparently, our tune perhaps has turned into our zest, and perhaps they are the company. Yes. No. That is yes. They've yes. EVP of our tune. Key members of our tune. So the developers of Blinks, the Time Sweeper, are too busy making Balan Wonder World. Whoa. <laughs> Which lines up perfectly now that Seb Mal in the chat has mentioned it. Like, of course, of course, that's what the Blinks, the Time Sweeper people have gone on to do. 
is to make that. Apparently. That's out of the end of the month here. That's coming up. Check out the demo. Not, I'm yeah, not ready for check that. Out, yeah, you can check out the demo. It's, oh, yeah, it's going to be Renaissance for 3D platformers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. Renaissance so is a little strong. Yeah. Um, Anyway, yeah, uh, Stubbs, uh, yeah, that, that video got trashed, so I'll have to re-record something. It's weird. It's stuttery it's when it turns. It's like, I don't, it's, I don't know why that happened. I can't. It's the Xbox. It's the original Xbox. That's right. I just, it's, I, it's what I get for keeping original Xboxes in the house. They're poisoning it uh, indirectly. We're going to take a break. 